Hey there, Amanda from the Happy Homestead. Today, I want to show you what I picked up yesterday from my Azure Standard order. Now, if you're not familiar with Azure Standard, be prepared for your mind to be blown <laughs> if you're into this sort of thing. It is a co-op that you can order from at any cadence that works for you and your family. It costs no money to join, zero dollars to join. And um, there's no time limit. Like you don't have to order every certain few months. You don't have to order once a year. Like there's literally no stipulations as far as your membership. Um, and everything is organic. It's non-GMO. So they have food items. They have cleaning items. They have gardening items. They even have food preservation items like canning jars and some things like that along the lines certain times of the year. Um, I first learned about Azure Standard a few months ago, probably about four or five months ago. This is my third pickup. I did it once, my first was in November and my second was in December. And then I didn't do anything for the next couple of months because we were trying to really utilize what we had on hand. But Azure Standard, like I said, it's a co-op and they are nationwide. And so there's, you go on their website, I'll have a link down below where you can actually join and find out where your nearest drop point is. So what happens is this big 18 wheeler truck pulls into a large parking lot, right? Wherever that drop point is. And about a hundred or so people yesterday were there and everyone just helps unload the truck. I mean, if you ever lose, lose your faith in humanity, go to an Azure standard drop. It is amazing because everyone is so friendly and everyone literally lines up. Now for liability reasons, you can't get in the truck and start unloading the pallets. The driver does that, but he just hands things out and we unloaded that 18 wheeler in 30 minutes. I mean, it's, it's really cool. And you just get in line and you help distribute and everyone comes with a piece of paper, with their last name on it and then we line up on either side of the truck in alphabetical order and we put our piece of paper on the ground right and then as you're unloading the truck you take the box and you put it next to the name of the person who's ordered it because the name of the person is on is on the box it is so it's just such a good feeling. I don't know how else to say it. I love it because I know that I'm getting good quality things, but I also love the community involvement when with those pickups. They are actually really fun. Um, so I got this pickup yesterday and my drop off point, thank God, is literally across the street from our neighborhood. I mean, I don't know how that happened. Now, lucky I got there, but it's like, I don't know two miles away. <laughs> it's really close. So um, I just drive over there. You wait in the parking lot for the truck to come and then the truck comes and everyone gets out and you know you start the process. So you're going to go on the website. Like I said, I'll have a link below where you can check it out and you can join and you see where your nearest drop point is. Um, there could be a drop point that's really close to you. It could be an hour, maybe an hour and a half away depending upon you know where you are in the country and, and how they're doing those drop points. If there is no drop point near you, you can actually volunteer to be a drop coordinator and then you create a drop point near you. So anyway, enough about the logistics. Let me show you what I got. All right, I'm gonna do this the best I can with the camera, but I mean, I got, look at all of this. All of that and then all of this. So we'll start here. I have two 10 pound bags of organic yellow onions. And guys, these onions are so gorgeous. And I have two, I think they're five. Yep, two five pound bags each of potatoes, golden yellow potatoes and then red potatoes. So basically 20 pounds of potatoes. And then I have one pound organic garlic. I have a 25 pound bag of organic cane sugar. Now we've given up white sugar in this house a long time ago. Um, I try not to even use sugar in much of my cooking anyway, but this is the sugar I'll use when I make my kombucha or you know anything that actually calls for sugar, I will use that. So we got that. I love this sour cream. It's a cultured probiotic sour cream. I bought three of those. And if you have never had this yogurt, the Strauss Family Creamery yogurt, oh my goodness, <laughs> it is so good. And it's from Pasture Fed Cows. 
This butter, y'all, I'm gonna be saying the same thing over and over, but this butter is amazing. This is organic European style butter. I get the unsalted, they have salted as well. Um, it's from pastured cows, cows obviously not treated with hormones, etc. And it is so good. I got 10, you can buy them in a bulk of 10. Um, so there's 10 of those and I just put them in the freezer and then I take them out as I need it. I also, it's hard to tell under here, but this is a case of safe catch wild tuna. So I have been very diligent. I hadn't bought tuna in probably 10 years because I am just, I like tuna fish sandwiches every now and then, but I hate the fact of how they're caught and the mercury levels, etc. And this brand is not only ethically caught, right? That's why it's called Safe Catch, but it's also been tested for the lowest mercury ever, like as far as all the brands of tuna. So love that. I got, this is one pound of nutritional yeast. I got organic all-purpose flour, unbleached. I have a bunch of beans and legumes back here. I'll get to that in a minute, but I needed some more cumin, got some cumin, ghee. Guys, ghee is expensive, and this was the cheapest I could find it. I looked on Amazon, I looked at Costco, because that's where we, you know, where we usually get our food is between Azure, Amazon, or Costco, and it was cheapest on Azure. I got three one pound bags of Celtic Grey sea salt, some pizza sauce, because we have run out of homemade canned pizza sauce. I got some organic rice vinegar. Again, it was the cheapest here versus the other places we shop. Chocolate chips. I bought a large bag of chocolate chips from Costco. Gosh, probably last January or February of last year. So we are almost out. So I got some organic chocolate chips. Um, I think that has the evaporated cane sugar as well. Yep, organic cane sugar. So no white sugar. All right, and then quinoa. That's 33 ounces of quinoa. Raisins, cacao powder, buckwheat flour. I, this is the first time I've gotten buckwheat flour, so I'm excited to, to try that. And then these are kidney beans. So I got a lot of dried legumes. So kidney beans, I have 10 pounds. Garbanzo beans or chickpeas, 10 pounds. I actually ran out of those last month. And then two five pound bags, right? So 10 pounds total of einkorn grain. I love einkorn bread. 10 pounds of organic rolled oats. And 10 pounds of organic pinto beans. And I forgot one more thing. I got four 24 ounce packages of the Bob's Red Mill masa flour because we've been making our own corn tortillas lately. I got a corn tortilla press for my birthday from my husband. So I've been making our own corn tortillas and um, this was the cheapest. I found it on Amazon. I think it was almost double the price from Azure. So I bought it on Azure. So all of that, right? All of that and then all of the onions and the potatoes and the garlic that are over there on the stove. I think it came to $440. So it was $400 subtotal and then it was a $40 shipping charge. So the way the shipping works with Azure is you share the shipping charge with all of the other people on your truck route. And it's also based on how much you order, right? Is it um, the weight as far as what you're ordering and the weight wise. So I forget how many pounds I had. I'd have to go back on my order and look, but it was a decent amount and that's why I paid $40 shipping. Even with that shared shipping charge, it was still less expensive to go through Azure for these quality ingredients. So I imagine that a lot of this, like all the legumes, the oats, right? That's what I really needed to stock up on because we ran out of so much of it. And the onions, because I had bought a 10 pound bag of onions last time and it got me through, I think almost two months. And so now I have 20 pounds. So I don't expect to have to buy these items again for probably close to four to six months, certainly the legumes and the grains at least six months. So it's nice because as the garden's coming in, right, we're gonna have a lot of the fresh produce that way. 
and we'll do our preserving as we normally do with canning and freezing and dehydrating. But then we also have this on hand ready to go too. So I hope that you will look into Azure. Again, I love them. I am so excited to have found and learned about them. They have so many things. They have meats, frozen meats. Um, they have, like I said, the cleaning products. They have garden stuff. They actually have an organic fertilizer that I think I might get on my next order, my next drop. So go check them out. The link below in the, sh in the notes, the YouTube notes, and let me know if you have any questions, but try Azure. Until next time, stay healthy, stay well, take care.